What's up Transformers fans, this is Dan Sims and in today's um, video well, I'm going to be talking about, well, pretty sounds some big news to me and it sounds completely amazing the, what I uh, found pretty was like a couple of days ago but I thought I did it now because I haven't really done this on the video, on the YouTube video yet so let's get into the stuff I want to talk about today so uh, first thing I want to talk about is a, a Really two videos he's put on Instagram lately, on his account. So, the first one, well, Michael Bay, I forgot to say his name. Michael Bay, on his Instagram account lately, posts two videos. Now, one is, uh, he was in Paris lately, but he wasn't doing no filming of the fifth, the, the fifth Transformers film. He was doing some videos for this, um, oh, like modeling or, you know, show, all the women showing off these new clothes or whatever. Well, that's what it looks like, but... In the video, it was just showing off this camera that is made called Red Med. It was like a customized camera. Uh, I don't think I called what the camera was called, but what it was, he had a, he got two hot, two handles on each side. the The customized color is light green, and uh, and on the one side, he's got a, a Megatron log a face on, on the side, and that's pretty cool. So he's got so he got the theme on there. It's a Megatron, so that's could be interesting. And, I mean, I'm not really impressed that he's still calling him Megatron, because still, it's Galvatron to me, but I am st I'm still finding it hard, really, I'll just force say this quick. I find it hard that he's calling him Megatron, not Galvatron, because, come on, guys, because we all, I mean, if you've seen the, an the anime versions of these ca Megatron's character, that's all I've no we know is, once he goes Galvatron, he never goes back to Megatron, so... I mean, yeah, if he does come true, if this is completely true, he's been saying all the time that he's Megatron, that... Oh, well, this this would be new, because I've never seen one of the Megatrons ever going back to Galvatron, but this is this could be new. I mean, this could be new. Anyway, um, the other um, Instagram video he posted was... Uh, he was just saying that he was in Scotland, he was just... Um, you know, he, had, he was... He was just... Showing us the view, he was the uh, Scotland um, with the grass first. Then he turned around and we saw the helicopter and we could see some mountains. So he was just giving us so far when he, you know, where he was and where he's filming. Oh, there we go. Just want to make sure the camera's right. Uh, now, before I get into more about Scotland, I want to talk about the um, casting wise, or well, a possible cast they've um, added to the film. Now, they've added this actor called uh, Liam. Guillermo, I mean, his last name is hard to say, but anyway, there's this actor called Liam, and he's on a show called Once Upon a Time, and I don't know if you you fans have ever watched that, My, well, new, you new two fans, I don't know if you ever watched the show, but anyway, in the show, he plays um, King Arthur, as I heard, and um, that's what they're really asking, them asking him, and that sounds like the characters confirmed, that uh, they're asking him to play King Arthur again, but for the Transformers Cinematic Universe. So, that could be, um, sounds interesting, because in a way that they are confirming that King Arthur's in it, so yes, all that uh, me medieval time period is true, and it was obvious from the uh, that video I did with, you know, King Arthur and all, the King Arthur video, so looks like that is true after all. Uh, I find it hilarious that I'm asking uh, this actor to play his character again, but just for the Transformers universe, not not the one that's based in the universe he's in. But I'm, I don't think I've ever seen an actor that did that. Like, he played his character, and then he played this character again, but set in the universe that, that didn't happen in the whatever he was on. I mean, I might be wrong. Maybe there has been shows like where this actor played this character, and then he played the same again, but set in the newer universe, but... I don't know. That's the first time I'm hearing the, something like that happening. But it's just rumours. I don't think it could be true. But if it is, then I might have to look on some videos of Once Upon a Time as his character. And see what his King Arthur's like. Because he might use the same stuff he does for that show. But I'm going to have a look what he does. And then and then if he's good as King Arthur, then I'll say, I'll give him a chance. And if he does the same thing... Well, we might use the same stuff, or we might just do some little difference to it, but... I don't know, I'll just have to wait for that film. Anyway, the last thing I want to talk about today is... Uh, a couple of days, 
couple, two days ago they had some, was it two, uh, well, they say around two days ago, uh, was it two, two days ago? <laughs> yeah, two days ago, um, they released these um, photos of the uh, mountains uh, where Scotland, that's why I'm going to come back to that. And uh, it's the, the guy again who's on the horse. And now, f first, because uh, when I, I did say in that video, in the King Arthur video, that, that was King Arthur. But from what I just said a while ago, when I said about them asking this actor to play King Arthur, but, you know, well, still woman if he's going to play him. And they're confirming him, well, confirming King Arthur. But from the looks of this guy now, he has a, the new thing on there, he has a staff. So, who has a staff? Merlin. So, is this actually Merlin? So, and I'll say yes, that, that's Merlin. Because, I mean, first as I was say, as I said, I thought that was King Arthur when they first showed these photos of him. But now with the Cybertron staff on him, that can't be King Arthur. That has to be Merlin. So... That's completely interesting. That's pretty cool that Merlin is in the in the film, and I did have a. It was obvious that he was going to be in the film because, in the way I was, in the way you can't have King Arthur without Merlin. So, looks like that's completely true. Now the staff wise, as I said, it, it has the it's the Cybertronian staff. So, huh, that's completely interesting. So in the medieval times, his staff wasn't an Earth staff. His staff was a Cybertron staff, so that's going to be fun. So, in a way, it's kind of like confirming more that the leak, the plot leak, is actually true, you know, with the Merlin and all that. So, that has to be true now. Now, for the um, staff, I said, because in the leak plot, they did say that uh, a, a Transformer came down to that time period and gave Merlin something. So, I'd say it could be the staff. I mean, if he did give him the sword, then it could be the staff as well he gave him, so that'd be interesting. Uh, the other thing I've had in my mind about it was the staff, because uh, what we heard in the film was, they said about uh, there is an artifact that Optimus hears about, that uh, if he wants to bring Cybertron back to life, he has to get this artifact on Earth, and I thought that it has to be the sword. But what if, I mean, this is a, this is a theory, what if... It can be the sword, but it's also the staff as well. What it's not just one one object he has to use. He has to also have to use another object to restore it as well. I mean, that's just me theory. What it, that's me theory. Like they need to get the sword and the staff to get the Cybertron to get Cybertron to look, to you know come back to life. I mean, I could see it true, or or it could turn out to be that. The sword's not a Cybertronian, maybe it's not the key to bring the planet back, it's the staff all along. Or, oh, oh it's just what I said, they, they need these two, because that could be the plot twist. Like, first you find out, you first you figure, you well, they tell us that they need this object to bring the planet back, and then later on, like nearly before the third act, you find out that you need this object as well. I mean, I don't know which way it'll go. Would it be like sword first and then staff last? Or actually, it could be like find the staff first and then they find out they got to get the sword as well. So, I don't know. That could be the twist. Um, last thing I want to say about that picture is where the armor really are. I've never really seen Merlin with armor on. Now, I know, um, in, I've, but to me, I think he did wear some armor when I watched the BBC One Merlin. I don't know if you guys have watched it. It's a good show. Um, but it's not on anymore. It's not on. Oh, as I was saying, it's not on anymore. It's a good. Sh it was a good show, but uh, really, I think most of the time he did wear armor, but not all the time. I think he only wore it when he was just training with Arthur. But I don't know. It's I haven't seen him for a bit, so I can't recall. But that's pretty cool. I'm seeing something new, like he's wearing armor. But that's first to me that he's wearing armor when he's out of the castle, because. I think, as I said, I think he only wear it when he was in the castle, just training with Arthur. But, to me, that's interesting. And, that's it. That's it, guys. That's that's the, um, really the topic of the video today. So, the pictures, I've already had them on two days ago. So, the link to the uh, my Transformers Facebook page is down there. So, you can click to have a look at the pictures. Uh, please put a comment down below about this, like, 
do you think that my theory could be true? You know, like the staff could be the key as well just to bring Cybertron back or not. Give you theories about what I've talked about in this video. Well, uh, share this as well to your friends, you know, who haven't seen these yet so I can get more viewers. Also give a thumbs up to it. Um, if you're new, this is what I do. I do Transformers and, well, Marvel as well. And I also attempt to do, try to do a lot of T, well, trailers and TV spots reactions now. So that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. So thank you for watching, guys, and see you again soon. Peace.